In this video, we're going to show you how to create an interactive Google slide and a Microsoft PowerPoint, both of which are very good. Now, when you create your Google slide, if you want to, you can save it as a PowerPoint. Okay? And if you have it as a PowerPoint, you can upload it to your drive and switch it over to a Google slide. We're going to show you step by step how to do all this, and it's really quite easy and it's interactive and innovation such as interactive lessons are very, very good for your students at this point in time. Let's look at Google Slides first. I'm going to click on New once I'm in my drive. Click on Google's, Google Slides. And when I click on Google, Google Slides, I have the first one here. What we want to do is click on Layout and make it blank. Okay? And once we make it blank, it allows us to determine where we're going to place things. Next, we're going to click on this line here and let's take the line, put it right about here and move it down to about there. Then I'm going to click on the color. I'm going to make it black and I want to click over here. I'm going to make it 12. Now we can make it a little bit higher. Okay. Now what you want to also do, I'm going to Click on it, hit Control D to duplicate. And the reason for that is we can take the line and move it down here. And then we can adjust it so it's lined up with the other one. And again, we can make this a little bit longer. Okay, oops, a little bit longer this way. Okay, so there we have our line. Next, I'm going to click on Insert. And I'm going to grab a text box and place it right about here. And in the text box, I'm going to type in color. And we want the number of color of birds or whatever thing you're going to use. And I'll say birds again. Okay. And underneath this, we are going to, let me reduce this somewhat. And underneath here, we're going to place the birds. And to do that, to place the number of birds, I'm going to grab this handle here and make it a little bit longer. Put my cursor right here and hit my return key. And the first bird I want, I'm going to say is red. And the number for that bird I'm going to say is three. The next bird will be green. And the number for that one, let's make it four or whatever you choose. And then I'm going to say blue and we'll make that one five. And we'll have yellow and we'll make that one two. And the last bird I'm going to have is orange. And let's make that six. Okay. Now I don't need all this room, so I can reduce this and bring it up right about there. Okay. So now we have our chart to go by. And down here at the bottom, we're going to go to Google and find our birds. Here are the birds we have. I'm going to use my snipping tool. And what I'm going to do here is copy this first bird. Okay, then I'm going to go to my slide and I'm going to hit Control V to paste it. And I'm going to reduce the size, grab the handle and put it right about here. Then I'm going to go back to the internet again and hit uh, my snipping tool. And this time I'm going to copy the green one. Okay. And go back to my slide presentation and hit Control V. And again, I'm going to reduce it. So you don't have to see me do this all the time. Okay, I think you have the journal idea. Okay. Let me hit pause and copy the rest. Okay. Once I have my birds, I need to go to insert again. And let's go to text box. And over here, I'm going to type in 
the color of the birds that I want to put in a row. So let's go with oops, red and then we want green, blue, oops, since it's not big enough let me grab a hint here and make it just a little bit larger. Okay, now green. And we want blue and yellow. And we'll have orange. Okay, now I think we need a little more space between those. So I'll put my cursor here, hit my return key for each one of those. And make it a little bit neater. Okay. I can reduce this if I want, or I could have made those larger. Now, we have uh, the number of birds. We have three red. Now, I'm going to click on the red bird, and I'm going to place it up here. Okay. And I'm going to hit Control-D one, two times. So now, I'll move it over here. So that gives us three red birds. Okay. Now the number of green birds are four. So I click on the, the green bird, move it up here, and you can see we don't have it lined up perfectly. We can make the bird smaller if we want, but the green bird is going to be four, right? So we hit Control D, one, two, three, four. And let's move that over here. So you can see how you can duplicate your birds, all right? Now we need to line these up a little bit better. Now I can hit my return key for green. Okay, that's a little bit closer. Blue. Oh, let me move this down. And then yellow. But maybe we would like to make the birds a little bit smaller so they can fit a little bit better on the screen. So I'm going to grab the handle and make it a little bit smaller. So you can see what's really good is I'm doing this live with you so you can see how to do this. And let's take the green make it a little bit smaller. Now you might have to make them a little bit smaller still, right? Now if you do it small enough for the first one and you duplicate it, they will all be small. Now for the blue bird, okay, I'm going to make him a little bit smaller and move him up right about here. And how many blue birds we have? Five, right? So there's one, two, three, four, five. Hit Control D five times. Move that out here, 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 and line it up. Now your kids can have fun because this is interactive and are making this for them. Okay, the yellow, let's make it a little bit smaller. And I'll adjust it. And I'm going to hit freeze on the video. Okay, I duplicated it. And I had to make this line a little bit longer and move this down to get the orange birds in there. And you can see the number of birds reflect the grid here, or the label red, green, blue, yellow, orange, and how many there are. So... This is good for the kids because they know now how to make a picture graph and they're done. Now if they wish to save it, you simply hit the word file and you want to uh, make a copy of this, right? Or download it, I should say. And you can download it as a PowerPoint and then bring it up as a PowerPoint. So that's how you would save it. Now remember, you can do just the opposite, which we'll show you is to save it as a PowerPoint and open it up in a Google slide. Either one. I can also place this in a document, a PDF file if you want. You, you determine how you want the students to work with this. Hopefully this all made sense and thank you for watching this and then we're going to do the exact same thing again but this time in PowerPoint.